Hey everyone, back in my kitchen. Uh, today it is sweet potato fries and Ollie's here with me today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, we are going to put these together quickly. I've been experimenting a little bit. In the past I've been using an old Pampered Chef tool, um, the French fry cutter, um, to make my fries. So today I wanted to play just a little bit and see what else we currently had. So I was using the quick slice to slice up the potatoes. As you know, they are very hard. So I was getting them down into chunks and then cutting them into pieces that were, oh, about that thick. Okay, so just, just over a quarter inch and then putting them the long way on here. Now you may have noticed when I was cutting them with my knife, I was getting that tip down. The five inch Santuca was my knife of choice because I could really get down and then just crank down on it. And on something as firm as sweet potatoes, that makes a big difference on your safety, making sure that it um, stays on track and doesn't go where you don't want it to go. So putting these through just one piece at a time will make a really nice french fry for you, okay? So you could do this with the sweet potatoes, you could do it with regular potatoes. I have in the bottom of my batter bowl, I've already added about a tablespoon of canola oil and between two teaspoons and a tablespoon of the chili lime rub. Um, today's fries, sweet potato fries, I'm planning to have them with um, chili that we had yesterday and cheese. So it'll be chili cheese sweet potato fries for lunch today. Um, might have to do a salad or some broccoli or something so I feel like I'm getting my greens. But um, we'll just mix this up until you can see we still kind of have a hot spot here. I'm going to keep turning that over. The nice thing about putting a dark seasoning on your french fries is that it's a lot easier to tell when you have that oil distributed because that's a very little amount of oil for this many fries. <laughs> By the way, this it says about a one pound um, is the capacity for the french fries. This was one sweet potato. This was one monster sweet potato. So we did put the whole thing in. I'm actually not 100% sure that I stayed under the pound or not, but we'll just dump that into the basket. Like so. I'm gonna seal the basket. And then the easy part, oh, let me get a cloth, is going to the air fryer here. And what I, what I have, come to love about this is that it doesn't require any preheating. So let me pull out the trays. These are the trays that come with it. They really are nice sized trays. So it is a family size air fryer. You can get a lot of done in a short amount of time. I just realized that I did not pull out. Let me get this set in here. Oh, easy enough to do, right? <laughs> Oh, we're struggling today. What's going on? Okay, there we go. That really shouldn't be that hard. Okay, um, turning this on for 10 minutes at 325 to start. So I'm going to go to custom, push that button, push, oops, sorry. Nope, let's cancel. Okay, try again custom, hit the time down to 10, hit that, hit the temperature to 325, and then hit start. So it'll go 10 minutes at the 325, and then I'm going to pop it up to air fry for 18 minutes. So that's how I'm doing my fries today. Got the chili going, and um, hopefully I'll get a picture posted when they're finished. So have a great day.